answer the age-old question that no one's ever asked. What is a dry fawn win? That is an excellent question. I'm glad you asked. So we'll break it down for you. We've got a massive ear that moves across and it hits a mountain or a hillside and it gets forced upwards. As it's being forced upwards, the temperature of the air decreases. Why? Science. Now if there's enough moisture content in that air, it may reach what's known as its dew point and condense and saturate and become what we all know as a cloud. The key difference between dry air and wet air clouds or not clouds, dry air as it rises has a greater change in temperature per height. Wet air cloud has a lower rate of change per height. If you want to know the technical term it's the dry adiabatic lapse rate versus the wet or saturated adiabatic lapse rate. Also what's happening on its way up, the cloud is crashing and banging against the hillside, the grass, the trees, leaves, bushes, what have you. And in the process, some of the moisture content is getting drawn out of the air. It can also be raining, which means its humidity or the moisture content is reducing. Once we get to the top of the hill, the air has reached its coolest temperature, assuming it's going back down over the other side. And this is the cool part. All that moisture that's been drawn out of it through what I've just talked about, that's going to change the cloud base on the lee side of the mountain, and that cloud base is going to be higher than it was on the windward side. And going back to our dry adiabatic lapse rate, having a high cloud base, more dry air, that temperature is going to be a lot warmer on the lee side of the mountain. And that is what a dry fawn wind is. 26 degrees here. So if we have a look at the other side of the hills, temperature in Hokitika. There you have it. 19 degrees right now versus 26. And that's why it can be raining on one side of the hills yet dry, warm, and good enough to be doing that. Science. So if you ever find yourself in the middle of an awkward silence, feel free to bombard them with this heavy artillery of information and watch their minds be blown. You're welcome. <laughs>